Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So a bunch of people did actually want me to make this video. I did a poll on Twitter a couple days ago, and so I'm gonna make it. And I've seen a ton of other YouTube creators making the same video. I just find it fascinating, and Sephora can be kind of overwhelming, so it may be helpful for some of you to kind of narrow down maybe products that interest you that you might look into buying during the VIB sale. So I actually went last weekend, and I did kind of a little haul. I'm a VIB Rouge, and I believe Believe that this year the VIB Rouges get two weekends so one weekend has already passed but then I do believe that VIB Rouge gets another chance I'll put all the dates and everything down below so today I thought I would share with you guys what I picked up during the haul and then I want to go through maybe every category like foundation concealer blush bronzer highlighter and just recommend my favorite things at Sephora to you guys I really don't want to like overwhelm you I'll try to move quickly but I really do want to give you guys some good recommendations so before we get into the video as always please make sure to join the family by hitting the subscribe button and if you want to be notified every time I upload just hit the little notification bell so that you'll be notified every single time I upload and with that being said, let me get into this haul and then I'll share my favorites with you after that. So the first thing that I picked up is a full size of the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is, I think, like a limited edition holiday set because it came with the full size of the powder and a powder puff for the same price as the full size. Normally these retail for $15 and that came free with this little bundle, so I was really excited to find that. I was running out of my little mini Laura Mercier setting powders. I had only had the travel size because I was just testing it out. Loved it and I was almost out of those so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy the full size. This is a classic So if you're looking for a really good translucent powder this little set I thought was really great plus the discount works on it, too So you even get more money off of both items. So that's the first thing that I picked up It's so funny because I got another setting powder I know it's kind of weird, but I wanted to pick up this setting powder It is the Becca soft light blurring powder in the shade pink haze. This is what it looks like right here I have the other one and I think the shade is gold an hour and that one if I'm too fair kind of darkens up my face so it works best in the summer months I felt like I wanted to try this because I do love the formula of the other one it's a light pink shade and I've already noticed that it does seem to work better for me and my fair skin um, if you want a really luminous setting powder this really I mean it makes you look even more luminous as the day goes on somehow so if you're into that this may be a really good setting powder for you guys to try out just be aware that it does make you look very luminous as a lot of Becca products do but I wanted to to give the pink haze a shot and so far I really do like it this is the next thing I picked up I had been dying to try the makeup forever ultra HD foundation stick I have heard so many great things about it and I've heard that it's a little bit more full coverage than the original HD foundation which is another one of my favorites but I'm kind of a full coverage girl and going into the fall and winter months um, I wanted something full coverage and a little more hydrating because this does have a little bit more of a dewy finish I feel like than the original so this is what it looks like I'm wearing it all over my skin today I think it looks really nice I picked up the shade 117 Y225 so far so good again with foundations I do like to to try them out in different ways and I just bought this last weekend so I don't have like a full opinion for you but I really really like it so far and I just really wanted to try it because I have been dying to try it for so long and so many people love it so I picked that up as well then I picked up a Too Faced melted matte liquid lipstick it's the one that I have on my lips right now this is what it looks like it's in the shade drop dead red it's so vampy and dark and actually I was so bummed if you guys watched my high-end allure beauty award winner video you would have seen me try out the NARS liquid lipstick that won an award. I was obsessed with the shade, but unfortunately it applied really patchy on me. So I wanted to find something similar to that um, that had maybe a more opaque formula. And I actually swatched the two next to each other in the store and this was pretty similar. So I decided to pick it up. I've never tried a melted matte liquid lipstick before. And so I'm still trying out the formula. This is actually the first day that I'm wearing it. I really liked how it applied. It's so opaque. There was no streakiness at all. And the color is just so good. So I'm really happy that I picked this up if I end up liking the formula I know they have amazing colors, so I'll probably end up buying more 
eventually, but I really wanted to try this out, so that's that. So the next thing that I picked up, I'm almost out of. This is one of my holy grail ride or die products that I will be purchasing for the rest of my life. And so I had to pick up another one. I'm almost out of it, and when it's on sale, why not? It is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I'm still working on my previous bottle, but I'll show you what it looks like. This, you guys, has saved my lips. Like literally, I used to always struggle with chapped and dry lips. I used to always have to put on chapstick throughout the day. I still sometimes do because I love lip balm, but I wear this to bed every night. I put a really good layer on and ever since I've been using this, I kid you not, I have not had dry lips at all. All. My husband swears by it too. I got him hooked on it And so this is just going to be a staple for the rest of our lives This is something that I would really highly recommend you guys picking up during the sale I know it's kind of crazy because it's an expensive lip balm and maybe you don't want to buy a lip balm That's that expensive, but it has changed my lips completely I actually also saw a really cute little gift set that I can link down below for you guys I think it was like $20 full price so you would get 15 or 20% off of it, um, but it came with a mini one of these and then one of their lip balms and then the sugar lip scrub So if you really want to try out bite beauty, that would be a really fun little set to try um, And then you can see if you like this product and if it works for you before you get the full size But seriously, this is like a ride-or-die product for me So it was a no-brainer that I had to pick up another one and then the last product that I picked up was from drunk elephant This is their Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I have actually recently been so intrigued by this brand and I've been trying out quite a few of their products, um, but I didn't have this yet and so I wanted to pick this up while it was on sale. It is not cheap, but I've heard amazing things about it. So I'm really trying to try out this brand. Obviously I will let you guys know how it works for me. Um, I need to be consistent with it for a while, but I became so passionate about the brand and the formulas and just everything that they stand for. So you guys should look up the brand and just see what they're all about. I've really become obsessed with them actually. But I put this on every single night and I really love it. It's not greasy or anything like that. It really does hydrate the skin. So far so good. Again, I've used this for just a couple days but I wanted to pick this up. I feel like during the sale, skincare is a really good thing to buy because sometimes it's really hard to get high-end skincare on sale so that's something that I normally don't love to spend full price on, especially if it's a really high ticket price. It being on sale really just sold me. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try it out. So I bought the biggest size, the one fluid ounce. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what this ends up doing. Again, skincare is something that I've gotta try out for at least like three weeks to a couple months to really know how it works for me but I'll keep you posted. And this is something that I wanted to get because it was on sale, so. So believe it or not, that's not everything that I purchased. <laughs> they actually had a couple things that I had been eyeing and that were on my wish list for a long time that um, weren't in the store that I went to. So the first one is the Drunk Elephant Peaky Bar. So it's just a face soap, it's a bar soap. I have the other one. Um, and this one is the cleanser that you're supposed to use at night. Again, I'm really trying out Drunk Elephant right now. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with it and I'm already seeing results actually even though I've only had it for like a week or so so I wanted to get that so that I would have a cleanser for the nighttime and then this you guys I saw at Sephora a while back and I saved it I made sure to save it and I knew that I wanted to pick it up sometime it's a limited edition item so if you are interested in it just know that it's not gonna be around for a long time but I'm so excited for it to come in the mail it is the NARS Bord de Plage highlighting and bronzing palette so it has Laguna and um Capri I don't remember the other bronzer name um, and then four gorgeous highlighters I swear watched this in stores and I was absolutely sold. It's a $154 value. It retails for $59, but with the discount, it's even less than that. So you get six products from NARS for a really good price. I cannot wait to receive that in the mail. And I wanted to show you guys, even though I don't have it here to show you, um, I'm really excited to use it. And it also has really great reviews. So even though I can't give you my review, you can read some of the other ones and maybe go off their opinions. Also just be aware if you do place an order online during the sale, it is so delayed. Like I placed my order on the third and it is now the ninth and it still hasn't even shipped, like it's just processing. So just be aware of that. They are backed up a few days because of the 
high influx of orders. So just be aware. Okay, so that's everything that I purchased. I will now go into what I would recommend for you guys, just in case you're like, oh, I'm out of a bronzer, I really want one, or maybe you need a new concealer. I just wanna really quickly go through my current favorites that are at Sephora. So just the products that I would recommend to you guys if you have not tried them already. So again, if there's something that I would recommend that you guys pick up while the sale is going on, it would be skincare. I'm currently obsessed with Drunk Elephant. I'm pretty sure you can also use the discount on like the gift sets. Maybe some exclusions apply, but if you wanna try out the full line of Drunk Elephant or a lot of their products, I know they have a little set called The Littles. I'll link that down below um, just because I'm so obsessed with Drunk Elephant. So if you wanna try out that line, I'll link that down below. Um, and also if there was one brand that I would recommend testing out if you haven't already, um, it would be Hourglass. Hourglass, I feel like if I could no longer wear multiple brands and I have had to wear just one brand for the rest of my life right now it is hourglass everything that i've tried from them is so luxurious so well made gorgeous packaging i mean i think it's worth every penny um it is a little bit more expensive than a lot of the other brands at sephora but since the sale is going on if there was one brand that i would recommend you guys just kind of go check out and swatch a couple things it'd be hourglass i will share with you my favorites from hourglass um but seriously amazing brand. So I guess I'll go in order from like primer to mascara. Um, to be honest, I don't know if I have like a primer. Well, actually Hourglass does carry a lot of really good primers and I'm trying this one out right now. It is the Hourglass number 28 primer serum. And then I also own the mineralized primer or the mineral primer. Um, both of them I really, really like. The serum is super hydrating and then the other one is a little bit more like blurring and perfecting. So I do really like those. For foundation, <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna show you guys a lot of Hourglass products, I guess, because they are really so good. The Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundations. This is one of my favorite foundations of all time. Um, I like to mix the shades Shell and Bisque, but I love these. The finish is beautiful. I feel like for so many people, it's really a hit or miss with these. A lot of people that I've talked to are like, oh my gosh, obsessed with this. I love it so much. It's my favorite foundation. And then a lot of other people are like, you know what? It didn't really work with my skin type. So it works with me and I have more normal combination skin but honestly, it's beautiful. So full coverage, but you don't need that much. It still lets your skin shine through if you want it to, or you can build it up to a super full coverage. Love this foundation. I would recommend trying it out. There's another foundation that I mentioned on another video that I've been trying out from Hourglass, and it is their Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. Now, this is marketed as a tinted moisturizer, but it is the most full coverage tinted moisturizer that I have ever tried. It feels lightweight, it doesn't settle into any of my lines. I love to use it for more of an everyday type of makeup look where I use like cream products, like a cream blush, cream highlighter on top and it just looks so good. I really, really like this. This is something that I've been trying out for mm, a couple weeks now, so I'm not like super, super familiar with it, but I definitely have loved it so far. The one that I have is in the shade Shell. Also, this has SPF 15, so it is a really good everyday type of foundation if you like more glowy tinted moisturizer type foundations. Really, really good. So I thought I would tell you guys about that. For setting powder, I honestly would recommend the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder if you have never tried that before I would highly recommend trying it out again you could pick up this holiday set or they do have little travel size ones that's how I first tried it out to see if I really liked it before I went ahead and bought the full size but if you're looking for a good foolproof setting powder this one is great and also the cover effects perfecting setting powder I'll link it down below it's way over there that's also a really good one but this is classic I mean everybody uses this every makeup artist that I've ever watched a tutorial from uses this at some point so that's a great one for bronzer the first one that that I would recommend is the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. They have three shades. I use the shade Milk Chocolate. It smells delicious. So just depending on your skin type, you could pick up the darker shades, but this one works really well for my skin tone. I love it. I love how it blends out. It's completely matte. So if you're not into any shimmers and you like really matte products, I would try this out. If you want a more radiant bronzer, Hourglass makes a gorgeous one. This is the Ambient Nude Bronze Light Bronzer. They have a few shades in this as well. This one works best for fair to light skin tones. That's why I have it, obviously. But it is marbled and it is so gorgeous. I love this bronzer. Again, like look at the 
packaging. Hourglass kills it every time. It's so dirty because I use it a lot. But this is a really, really great bronzer. It applies so beautifully and never like goes patchy. I'm really able to blend it out. It's so buildable. So I love this bronzer. If you want something a little bit more high end and a little more luminous uh, for blush, guys, I have another Hourglass product. Um, the Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush. I have the shade Euphoric Fusion. This is the only shade that I own. It's a really unique shade. I actually am dying to try out more shades, but it's like a really purpley, almost fuchsia color and in it is marbled like a highlight. So it's so beautiful, like a one and done. If you like really luminous cheeks, this is a great blush for you. I'm not wearing it today because I felt like it would clash with the lip color, but it is gorgeous. I mean, seriously, these products are insane. Um, I know they do have a little bit more subtle colors, but again, so beautiful. I had to show you guys this. Um, another blush that I've been really liking recently is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Exposed. A super nude, matte, long wearing blush. This is what I have on my cheeks today. It's so subtle. So if you're somebody who likes just a little bit of blush just to make you look healthy, but you're not into bright colors really, this might be a good route to go. And the formula is really great and it lasts a long time. For highlighter, I feel like if you haven't tried this out yet, go check it out at least. Go swatch them and see what you think. I love it. It's the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. The one that I have is in the shade Moonlight. It is so pretty. I'm wearing it on my skin today and then I have another highlighter layered on top, but I will show you on the back of my hand. They have several shades in this and actually I think they have a really fun gift set for Christmas, which if that's online, I'll link it down below as well. But I mean, come on, so pretty. I love this. You can mix it into your foundation, just like a really small amount. A little bit goes a super long way with this. So sometimes I put a drop into my foundation. If I have a matte foundation that I want to make a little bit more luminous and dewy looking, I will mix this in with it, but such a cool product. I don't own anything else like it. So I thought I would mention this one. If you are looking for a powder highlighter, I would recommend checking out Becca highlighters. This one is in the shade Champagne Pop. I've been dying to try out Opal. Um, they have so many different shades, so just go check them out. But the formula is gorgeous. I do have Champagne Pop on my cheekbones today as well. Amazing, amazing formula. If you're looking for a bomb highlighter, Becca makes fantastic ones. So for eyeshadow palettes, I picked out two that I really, really love right now. The first one is this Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. It seems almost boring when you look at it, but I am so shocked, you guys, at how much I've used this. It's what I have all over my eyes today. If you're somebody who really likes just matte, neutral colors, this is a fabulous palette to have on hand. Also, if you are a makeup artist, this is so great to have in your kit, I feel, because you can use the shades for eyebrows and for bronzing and for eyeshadows, obviously, but amazing palette. I love this one. The formula is great. It smells fantastic. There's a really nice big mirror in it as well. Wanted to show you guys this because because I do love it. And then a lot of you probably have tried this, but if you haven't, now is the time to try the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia. This is probably my number one eyeshadow palette. I am so in love with this palette and there are so many looks that you can create with this. Don't be intimidated by like the fuchsias and things like that. It's actually way more wearable than you might think. So if you haven't picked this up yet, now is the time. For mascara, I have two from Sephora that I've been loving recently. The first being the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. That's the one that I have on my lashes today. If you like really velvety, I mean, that's a really good name for this. If you like really velvety, almost clumpy, bold lashes, this is so good. I love it. And the packaging, I mean, come on, it's really nice. And then the other one that I've recently just been obsessed with is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I just had the travel size, but I feel like this would be more of a universally loved mascara where this one, if you don't love clumpy, velvety lashes, which I personally love, you may not like that. But this one, I feel like you can make it look natural. You can build it up to look more bold if you want to. It's an amazing mascara. So if you're on the hunt for a good mascara, check this one out. Brows, brows, brows. If you haven't tried this out already, you should check it out. It is just the classic Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz pencil. So good, and I feel like it works for so many people. I love this pencil, so I wanted to recommend that if you guys need a new brow product. If you need a brow setting product, this is my favorite right now for a clear brow gel. It is the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. Love this stuff. I'm wearing it in my brows. It just creates a really nice feathery effect 
and it makes your brows not budge all day long. So I really love that. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot concealer, guys. If you're looking for a really good concealer, I mean, this is one that everybody talks about and a lot of makeup artists use as well. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm wearing it today. I feel like it's so beautiful. It blends out like a dream. So if you are on the hunt for a really good concealer, this would be it. It just has a really nice natural finish, but it still gives really nice coverage. So I wanted to mention that as well because I really, really love it. And it's so funny because I'm such a lipstick junkie, but I could not figure out like what I would recommend to you guys for lipsticks. Oh, you know what? Let me grab one that I would recommend. This would have to be one of my all time favorite lip colors and formulas actually the Tarte Tardis Lip Paint in the shade Bestie. Guys, if you're at a Sephora, go swatch this. It is stunning. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand for you guys. It's just a perfect like nude color, but it's like a bold nude. It's a little bit deeper, at least on my skin tone, but I feel like it would flatter so many skin tones. This is seriously an incredible color. So if you're looking for a new lipstick, this one is really great. And then obviously I'm really into the Too Faced one that I picked up. Those are both really, really good. So yeah, I think that's everything. Again, I will link everything down below to make it easy for you guys to take a better look at some of these products that I've mentioned to you today. Um, I hope you find this helpful. Also, you guys know I love your recommendations. So if there's something that you're like, Allie, during the sale, you need this in your life, please comment it down below. Let me know what you think I need in my life during the sale. Thanks again for watching you guys. I love you all so much. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. And seriously, I think you guys are the sweetest people on the planet. Your comments are so sweet. Thank you for leaving amazing comments to me and giving me your feedback. I absolutely love it. So yeah, again, hopefully you guys find this video helpful. Happy shopping. Let me know what you end up picking up and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.